shop and bar in Exeter, Sabatini's, the area's greatest selection of rare craft and imported beers. Growlers and Crowlers and 37 rotating drafts at Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar, Wyoming Avenue in Exeter. Lindo Sabatini's with us this morning. Good morning, Lindo. Good morning. Good Listen morning. to that voice. Yeah, sounds like someone might have had a little bit uh, or something going on. All right. So, <laughs> sounds good. This is two days now, and I, you know, I sound like, what's the guy's name from uh, Star Wars? James Earl Jones? Yeah. Or Luke Skywalker? Really? No, I'm going to go James Earl no, Jones with the deep voice. So yeah. Wyoming, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but Wyoming area field hockey is in the state. Yeah, yeah we right? talked about that. That's yeah. So this is, this is my kid's school, and all the girls on this team are, uh, all the girls on the team are my daughter's friends. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's awesome. I went to the game. May have yelled a little. It's exciting. Oh, so that's what you got it from. May have lost my voice and left it in Allentown. So that's, I can't talk very well. It's interesting. We're very, I didn't realize how similar Linda and I are, Nancy. Yeah. When I get sick, I get the same voice, and I go around going, I am your father. It, it, it's, and that's why I want sister. Something that'll get fun. <laughs> yeah, so I love the deal. That's why I'm like, oh, I'm jealous of Yeah, Linda. so I left it I left it with Wyoming Area Field Hockey. Are you going to go to the state game or no? I think I am. Oh. Cool. I have to be in I have to be in Harrisburg tomorrow at 11 a.m. Oh boy! Now they, they uh, when our school ended up going to states right. um, for soccer, they had like a, a bus. They even chartered buses. Yeah, the students, you got that going there's, on there. There's fan buses. We're already great. Oh, good the, luck to them. I so hope they Bill's, Bill's go. having trouble getting through the phone lines. He's saying all the phone lines are busy, so that's why he's not. Oh, uh, we're missing. We're missing. Uh, They're not Bill. busy. <laughs> So I don't know what that is. Um, do you want to? Do, do we have his phone number here? Well, maybe we try to call him. We'll we should. Out. We should. Um, yeah, I was gonna say uh, you're listening to the uh, Friday field hockey update. Beer. Well, I don't know. It's a big deal. It's, I mean, it's, it is. To our family. I'm not mocking yeah. it. I just want to know that. To, our, to our family, it's a big deal. And That's I cool. had to explain why I sound like I have a frog in my throat. I'm right? happy that was your answer because you had said, "Oh, I have a really bad chest cold." I would have been like, "Why are you uh, here?" There's no, I get paranoid. There's no, there's no COVID, no COVID in this vessel. No, I'm dealing with nothing, nothing with that. But anyway, yeah, I'm so sending awesome. this to Johnny Lucas just because it's. You're missing uh, Bill. I, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to send this to Johnny Lucas so that he can then uh, call Bill because it's his phone number. I have it in my phone, but it doesn't help me to tell you that. So. Well, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a curveball here, and we'll talk about the beer first. Okay. In, in case, Bill, in case right. Bill gets on. So today I brought, it's a brand new brewery to the United States. We've never had it before, and this is called, Cor I think it's Corel, like Steve Corel. It's, oh, okay. uh, it's, it's, it's K-E-R-E-L. Corel. I don't think it's Carol. Right. I think it's Corel. Probably. But this is a... It's a little stout little bottle. Yeah, the bottles remind me of, of those little Mickey Big Mouth grenades. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, you know, I remember those. But, or, or an old bottle of cough syrup, to be honest with you. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> but the bur I mean, there's not a lot of new breweries in Belgium. All the, all the Belgian breweries are in existence for hundreds of years. Sure. So these guys are, uh, it's a new brewery. Uh, we have four different styles from them. Um, there's a Saison, a Belgian Wit, a Stout, and this is the Beer de Garde. So a Beer de Garde is similar in style to a Saison. It um, means beer for the keeping, it means it's been aged, and this is a, a simple, easy, uh, easy drinking. It really is. Yeah. I want you to try it. I, you guys were making fun of me last week for not trying it. We're talking about it, and I'm still not there. I do have Bill on the line, too, folks, but um, we can pull him on while we're chatting about the beer. That's Bill, sharp. Bill, hello. Hey. Hey. It's the Friday Beer Bug. It is. And you know what? It's funny because when right before, I'm looking at the phone line when we're about to play it, and we're all like, did he say he wasn't going to be here? And none of us knew that or not, so we were confused. So good to have you here, albeit a bit late. Yeah, no, all your phone lines are ringing busy, so that happy Friday. Not a good <laughs> thing. Not a good thing. So we'll figure, <laughs> but we were able to call out, so we'll figure that one out. Happy Friday. Um, so we already yeah. cracked open the beer, just so you know. So, yeah, we're just, sounds good. Yeah, we're describing what a beer de garde is, and this is this is a, a Corel beer de garde. It's uh, seven and a half percent alcohol, and I think I just think it's a nice. I mean, it's it's definitely not summertime, so it's a slide from summer into into winter as far as Belgian beers go. But it's not dark, but it's nice and it's bright or sharp as the words are popping in my head. They probably are. I don't know if those are good descriptors for it. I like it. Um, good descriptors. Yeah, it's a, it it I'll be honest, this is going to sound weird. What is the, uh, and Bill probably, or both of you know, when I go in, I get like a, the, the smell on the, the sip is not an aftertaste, but it's, uh, I love the flavor of it. What is that, what I'm getting? It's mild, though. When you say it's not sharp. Mm. 
Yeah, no, it's, it's a very malty beer. Yeah, that's um, what it is. Okay. And it's a beer, like Lindo mentioned, it, it's like a Saison in that they brew it during the winter months, and beer de garde translates to beer for keeping or beer for laying down or beer for celery. So it's meant to be bottled and then aged and so that they can consume it later. And they did this historically because the yeasts did not behave nicely in their summertime environment, so it was much easier to brew these things in the winter. And I, I think what you're getting, and I've actually had this beer, um, I think what you're getting is that it has a really sort of caramely, malty, and a tiny bit of roasty. And sometimes I think roasty and, and, and hoppy, you know, people get those two crossed up, but uh, to me it was very malty. Are, are yeah, you tasting like a caramel character? Yeah, it's 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 like the opposite of the aftertaste, like before scent. That it's a, but it's a, it tastes delicious. It's super easy to drink for something that has such like a bubbly feel to it. I like this just they, more than I think I thought I would when I first tasted it. It's, it's, it's really good. good. It is. I like it. They, they call it rich, uh, clean, earthy, refreshing. Uh, and, and the brewery goes back, I mean, they go back a long way. They're back to 1867, and they make it, uh, it's, it's on the bottle as well. They say it's untouched by monks, and they say that no monks and no big corporations were involved. And it's been a family business, but they said a few generations of the family decided to take a nap. And so from 1966 to like 2015, the brewery actually shut down uh, because that generation didn't want to run a brewery. And then in 2017, they came out with this line of beers called Carol, um, which always reminds me of Carol on the Street know, for right. some reason. Um, but it is uh, Carol, K-E-R-E-L, is actually Dutch for dude or guy or chap or fellow. So that's kind of where the name comes from. Ah, that's where it comes from. All right. Okay. So we did the beer first. Uh, if you have some news, uh, we can certainly yeah. do an abbreviated version of that. Yeah. You just stop me when we are out of time. Okay. Uh, uh, this, this Friday coming up is Black Friday, and, and in the beer world, that means it is typically the Goose Island, Bourbon County, Spran Stout release day. And just to remind people, I think we've talked about it before, but the 2022 Bourbon County Brown St uh, Brand Stouts this year are going to be the original version. They're doing a coffee version. They're doing a biscotti version. They're doing a Sir Isaac's version and they're doing a proprietor's version. They're doing a two-year barley wine reserve and a 30th anniversary reserve stout. Those come in 16.9 ounce bottles with the neck label that looks like a flag. So uh, I'm sure Sabs has or will have them very soon. Yeah, this market, this market will have everything but, but, the, but the proprietary blend. All, all the other ones yeah. will be available but the prop. Good. Yeah, prop, prop is always a big deal in Chicago and, and it's, it's the only place you can get it unless they ship to you, if you get lucky enough for that. Um, Cigar City, we talked about the variants of High Life, very popular IPA that they have. They're coming out with a peach, white, oak High Life and a mango High Life. Both of those hit 7.5% ABV, 12-ounce cans. Uh, Stone just released Enjoy by 1123. It will be an unfiltered IPA. Uh, that beer will be out, uh, it's out now actually, and that will be out and be fresh until uh, till New Year's Day, which is sneaking up on us. And Elysian Brewing, we had their pumpkin beer, a Night Owl, on a few weeks ago. They did a really limited release, but cool beer. I got my hands on some. It was called Chucky, and it was a killer wit beer uh, with pumpkin and cranberry, and that beer hit 5.3% ABV. A little bit tricky to get that one, but it's done in conjunction with the TV show Chucky is going into their seventh season, or uh, second season. Oh, so, it's his second. Uh, seventh sounded yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, second. It's beer strong, I thought. Seven. I call this week the, oh my God, how am I going to get all this stuff baked before Thanksgiving week? So my brain is in. I know, in you're, you're a baking a lot. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have to cut it short because we gotta, we got to yeah. go. But uh, sorry about the phone situation. We're still trying to figure that one out, so we're going to test that during the break. But uh, uh, Bill always has the latest a buzz that's going on in the uh, craft and micro beer uh, culture. So you just go to mindbeerbuzz.com. Thanks, Bill. Sorry about that. Thank you. No, good. We'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah, all happy right. Thanksgiving. Yeah, all see ya. Bye-bye. And Lindo, uh, we're all going to be following along what's going on with Wyoming area. You're, save the, the pipes, though. You uh -oh. might want to just, just bring, like, a bullhorn or, like, what do you call it, a bell? Not going to happen. Something like that. You're, You're close on Thanksgiving, right? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean,
<laughs> you deserve it, man. That, you work that, a lot. That's up to be the, the, up, up in the air. We might open up a night for yeah, just like the bottle shop for, for beer and, and Bourbon County release. We're thinking about it, but we don't know yet. Okay, okay so hours check it out. We'll I'm sure on, online. On that, on that Facebook thing. All right, so that's check it out then. It's just really a great place to go, folks. All right, the Friday Beer Buzz, uh, powered by Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar, Wyoming Avenue and Exeter. 37 rotating drafts. There's growlers and crowlers all at Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar, Wyoming Avenue and Exeter, the Friday Beer Buzz, bringing good beers and good people together.